Hey guys, this is Arthur with MTX Audio, and we're here to uh, show you how to appropriately set your gain controls on your amplifier using a little Ohm's Law. It's important that we set the gain controls appropriately in order to ensure that we have the correct output power coming out of the amplifier and the proper output power matched to the speakers. The gain control is used to level match the amplifier to the head unit or source unit and it's not a volume control. So what we want to do is we want to set up our desired output of our source unit and then appropriately match the amplifier to that level. This way we can make sure that the amp's not stressed and overworked, the speakers aren't stressed and overworked, everything plays nice with each other. So what we're going to do is we're looking for a desired RMS voltage output of the amplifier. That's going to give us our fixed level so that we know that that's the maximum amount of output voltage we're going to see, the maximum amount of power that we're going to see. To do that, we're going to use this formula, which is voltage equals the square root of power times resistance. <coughs> voltage being the RMS voltage out, power being the desired power out. In this case, it's 500 watts. It's our RT500 here. And the resistance of the speaker load, which is 2 ohm load. So expressed quickly here in the math, it's 500 times 2 which is the square root over 1,000, which gets a desired output of 31.62 volts. So what I've done is I've created a test disk from our website. And uh, it just basically contains a 50, 50 hertz tone that's recorded at a level that a normal CD would be recorded at. I'm going to put that in my head unit. I'm going to select that track. And I'm going to... Set it on repeat so I don't have to rush around and do anything crazy and kill myself. Now, I'm using the line level output of the head unit, so I'm going to turn the head unit up all the way. Generally, the line level output is a lower level output, and it's clean over the full volume range of the head unit. It's not so I'm going to unload the amplifier because there's no need to have the speakers hooked up when we're setting our gain controls. Um, It'll just stress out the speakers with the sine wave. So unload the amplifier, head unit all the way up. We're going to turn the gain all the way down, bass boost all the way down, subsonic all the way down, and the low pass filter all the way up. This is going to give us the widest bandwidth of our amplifier possible so that we know we're appropriately setting the gain before we add the feature set in. We're going to set our meter on voltage AC, and we're going to be looking for a target range here. So if you have a multi-level meter setting, make sure that you're, you're in the appropriate range for the voltage that you're looking for. Connect it to your outputs. And turn the gain control up until you see the target voltage. That's close enough. At that point, we would turn our head unit all the way back down, go get a music CD that you like to listen to, hook your speakers up, pop in your CD, and set your filters appropriately.